Hi, this is Dan Martin. Today I'm going to do a video on left arm only swings in pitch shots to not only just improve your short game, but actually your entire sequence of your golf swing. Uh, if you haven't hit subscribe yet, please do so. I'm releasing a new video every Monday. I've got lots of fun stuff to share with you. All right, so left arm only swings. So uh, most, most players in short game tend to struggle because they're always trying to manipulate the shaft um, to drive the club head. So for instance, in, in a short game shot, trying to kind of push the handle through, or you might be the opposite where you're trying to like control the club by flipping it. Um, when we kind of take our dominant side off, I'm a righty, and we have to go to, to a, a left arm only swing, we rapidly create a very awkward, a very awkward feeling. And generally in my experience with drills, if they're awkward, they're very worth doing. If they're pretty easy, then you probably don't need it. And so this one I love to give the students to, that are struggling with their swing, swing sequence and also struggle with contact in their short game shots. And it's as simple as learning how to hit golf shots with just your left arm only. So when I do left arm only swings, a lot of things tends to happen. I start to, generally most of us try to power it from our lat and our shoulder. And to do it successfully is gonna require a turn. So for instance, in a, in a, in a, uh, in a chip shot here, if I try to power it with my shoulder only, I start hitting shots like these. So I'm, I feel like I'm kind of shoving, shoving, shoving the golf club. But when I, start to get, when I start to practice this more and more, I start to get a feeling that, okay, I actually have to do a little bit more to get this to happen. So the sequence of the swing starts to emerge. As I go back, I actually feel like I have to turn a little bit. Because what I need to do in a golf swing is I have two swings that have to come together to create a really solid contact. And that's where most of us go wrong. I first thing I have to do is I have to start turning, which swings my lead arm. So without the golf club, I swing my arm. And so when my arm is swinging, it's being driven by a different thing. If I'm moving it like this, I'm not swinging it. And that's where we, that's where we, that's where we the first place where we're gonna go wrong. So I gotta swing my arm. And then what's next is I have to discipline my hand to not help the club either. So the swinging of the arm actually starts to lag the golf club for you. And then as the arm slows down, the, the club catches up. So it's a very simple, natural system. And so as I get more and more skilled at left arm only swings, I start to improve my contact. <clears throat> and you'll write, and again, the awkwardness of the, of the exercise is really what starts to get you on. That was even better than the first one. So the more we work on left arm only swings, the more we get a, a, much, better, a much better feel of how the, the swing sequence goes. Once I've hit a few with my left arm only, then I'll just simply put my, put my two, uh, two hands back on the golf club, but I still want to picture I'm making that left arm motion. So I'm going to have a little bit more turn, and then I'm going to have more of an intent to swing my arm and let the golf club just naturally catch up. So give that a try when you're practicing your short game. I love starting out with like 20 or 30 of those before I play, before I do my short game exercises or my practices. And that always makes a huge difference on learning and developing your swing.